Hi, my name is Elliot Sparrow from Gorilla Stack, and we are doing a screencast of how to get started with our serverless HipChat Connect boilerplate repository. First thing we're going to do is clone the repository. Once this is done, we'll change directory to the root directory of the project. Now we install the serverless framework. and then the Grunt CLI. Now we run npm install to install all of our project dependencies, all the dependencies for the serverless project. Now we change directory into our REST API directory and install these dependencies. This keeps our Lambda function zip file smaller and makes deploying even quicker. Now we're gonna set up our development environment going to use ngrok to give our localhost HTTPS endpoints, one for the emulated API gateway and one for our emulated S3 bucket using a Python simple HTTP server. Copy both of these URLs to our config.json file. Now we're going to use Babel to transpile our ES6 code to ES5 to make it compatible with AWS's version of Node.js. We have two grunt tasks available to you, one for single run use and one that runs in watch mode. Let's leave it in watch mode this time because we're going to be using this for local development. Next we're going to run our grunt task to start our emulated S3 bucket. We're going to start up DynamoDB local for our local persistence layer. Now we run a grunt task to create our DynamoDB local tables. There are two tables, one for install keys and one for API access tokens. Now we're going to run SLS offline to start emulating API gateway on localhost port 3000. One of the static assets that we serve is an install page. This has an add to HipChat button and information about the plugin. Clicking add to HipChat brings us to our integrations page and brings up modals to select a chat room and verify the granting of permissions. In our boilerplate, we have an example echo webhook, a glance, a sidebar that can update our glance, post a card and launch a dialog. I'll just demonstrate how a plugin can also be added using your plugin's descriptor URL. So first we'll remove the plugin and add the descriptor URL. But enough about development environments. Let's get ready to go live. First thing we do is use serverless to create a new stage called beta. This creates a new CloudFormation stack just for this stage. Now we will deploy our Lambda function and all API gateway endpoints for this stage. Once this completes, we will copy the endpoint URL back to our config.json file. Then we update the name and region in our S3 bucket endpoint in the same config.json file. Now we run a grunt task to substitute our config.json properties for the stage into our static asset templates and deploy to a new S3 bucket for the stage.
As you can see, we have our assets hosted on S3 and can add the HipChat Connect plugin as we did before. And there you have it. We're running live on API Gateway, Lambda, and S3.